Greetings, Huntsman Huntresses, and welcome back to Ruby JPDE. Raven said that she would record the fights. I mean, I can understand why she would want to record Yang's. She definitely would want to show off her daughter. But she implied she would also record mine. This is more confusing because why would she why would she need to? Maybe just maybe just show them that her daughter's boyfriend is not some weakling? You know, to show that he he means business and he's powerful. After all, it's probably just, you know, like, just to show that he's worthy of to be a part of the Brawin family, I guess. I could be wrong, but that's what it feels like to me. I mean, it's either because she wants to show off her daughter's boyfriend, or maybe to show off... Hey, baby daddy. That. Yeah. What? What do we say about public? There's no, there's no one around in earshot, so it's technically a private conversation. Anyway, I want to congratulate you on your victory. That was an amazing fight, and your performance admirable. Admirably. But I have to admit, I got a soft spot for your foreigner's teammate. He was absolutely devious. I love that. Kids back home will be able to learn a lot by watching it. Huh, I think that's why you want to record the fights. It wasn't just to show off your daughter. Hmm, that'd be a reason enough, but no. We don't have a lot of re reception back home, so this was a prime opportunity to get some footage of Hunter fighting styles, style fighting. It won't be been that long since I took the reins of the tribe, and while I've established my authority, opening their minds as to new ways of doing things is another thing entirely. The young ones are definitely more malleable, though I'm what. And watching the footage will definitely persuade them to try to be less warrior minded. Well, depends what kind of warrior you're referring to. Are you referring to the barbarian or you're through or you're from or you're basically saying you want them to be less, you know, knight and samurai. Because if you want to be less knight and samurai, we're gonna have a problem because I respect a knight and samurai. The art of Bushido should be respected. In a way, but more but my tribe is a lot like Team Indigo. Born and nurtured to confer, convert victory above everything else. Watching this will wake up, we wake up call for my people too. Well, I'm glad I could help then. You know it. Speaking of help though, I want to ask you just to be sure. Ask what? If I did manage to convince Yang and there's no breeding involved, would you be interested? Oh, um, <clears throat> Uh, um, I... Come on, please. Stop teasing... me. Ignore... Ignore the face, I'm quite serious. No... No projects of Dynasty. No moment of torment. No kidding around. Would you be interested? Raven, you're a beautiful woman. You may be a slightly sooner, eh? But you're still beautiful. Even though you kind of remind me of Akane from... Akane Gala Kill... But I think that's just the color scheming. Like, black and red really do go well together. I mean, you're better than the other edgelord of T of Ruby, Adam Taurus, because at least... Uh, well, at least you have some d d interesting character tropes that aren't just, you know, angry edgelord. Oh god, you are serious. Yes, if you say... And if you say you're, you're not... I'll drop it and let it go, but I know you're quite open-minded, and so are your partners. I... Ugh, yeah, I would be interested, but it's not just Yang, you know? There's Penny and Evelyn too, and right now we have some stuff that takes precedence. That's fair. Thank you for, thank you for being honest. You're welcome. Oh, jeez. Well, that was uncomfortable. Ungodly so. Uh, Alright, four drinks coming up. I've been stalling for a time long enough. Time to grab those beverages. Better squeeze this day of rest for as much, as much relaxation as I can. I hope Jack isn't pushing herself too hard researching Team Funky. Yeah, I think that's what's Team Funky. Then it's ironic to think the fact two members of the team actually do have kind of a funky design and personality. I mean, 
uh, Flint basically is like a jazz musician. You know, he, he definitely looks like a, like a surgical ja jazz musician. And Neon Cat looks like someone that belongs in the 1970s with the whole disco theme. Since we, so we couldn't see their fight yesterday, we're going in even blinder than against Team Indigo. I don't, I don't expect an easy time. I remember Neon Cat from when she passed along Mr. Paladin's message. I couldn't tell that she wanted to prove herself. And then there's the special rules. Ugh, we have to wing this, aren't we? But we, but we can't lose. Yeah, this is going to be difficult. I can feel it. We got to keep on winning so that Penny can't ignore the fact that her own mortality is on the line. Uh, uh am I dreaming? No dreams, Miss Cat. Just realism. I can't. I won't recant the doubts I harbored, which was a, sh a saying only thanks to M Mr. Cole's excellent sponsorship. Even a team as eccentric as, as Funky, you look as to me as too much. But orthodox or not, your abilities and fighting style have proven effective. Congratulations on your victory. Please keep tr carrying yourself with diligence and represent Atlas Academy with pride. Uh, I will. Thank you, General Ironwood. We won't disappoint you, General. We... Oh, um, good morning, everyone. Good morning, Penny. Are you feeling better? Huh? Penny? Oh! Um, sorry to interrupt. I was just on my way to the lab. Nonsense. We shouldn't be talking in the middle of the hallway. Anyway, do you know Flint Cole and Neon Cat? Students, this is Penny Polladina, the daughter of Professor Polladina. Hey, how's it going? Hi. Um, it's the first time we've met, but I know that you're from Team Funky. One of the teams you've chosen for the final festival, right? It's a pleasure. Indeed. They represent Alice Academy with honor. Yesterday and tomorrow, they will actually fight against Team Jade in the, in the rounds of 16. Oh, I... I see. In that case, um, good luck. Hope you give it your all. We will, right, Flint? Um, y yes. Yes, absolutely. We'll definitely bring victory home, Miss Paladina, for the glory of Atlas. Oh, God. Don't tell me he's become smitten with Penny. I swear, if this become like the whole him trying to steal her thing, I'm really going to hate this. Like, I could never stand that in TV shows. You know that guy who tries to get another guy's girlfriend or something? It's just sickening. Ugh. Huh? Um, sure, good luck. If you'll excuse me. I'll take my leave as well. Have a good day, students. Yes, sir. Good day, sir, ma'am. For the glory of Atlas, Flint, what the hell? So, that, so that's Professor Polydina's daughter. I... Neo, tomorrow we show no mercy to our opponents. We're going to put our best in... Put on our best show yet. Oh, oh, brother. Flint, um... You have missed it because you were only seeing the last half of the fight, but Penny is a member of Team Jade. What? But, uh, huh? But Team Jade is a beacon team. Yeah, also, the blonde guy on the team, Kenshi, he's her boyfriend. Really now? Oh, God. Yeah, this definitely feels like something's going to happen. This is so wrong. Hey, managed to relax a bit? Yeah. Also, I want to take the lab ship to check on the girls. Evelyn's pretty much just sleeping and lamenting the, the singed fur of her ears. Well, she's got no one, one to, to, but herself to blame for that. And Penny... Penny wouldn't see me. I figured she wouldn't bounce back, but why wouldn't she want to see you? Remember how she called herself a failure? I think she feels guilty. On, on top of Penny being, well, Penny, since she came out of Team Indigo's fight unscathed, it makes much more sense for her to support one of us, too, than her, 
have us partner up for the round of 16. And then how I felt about the whole tournament thing going in. And she feels ashamed for not being able to shake off her crisis yet. Uh, she shouldn't blame herself to this extent. I can only imagine what she must be going through. Penny, partner, have you ever... The day my father died, I don't even know exactly what death was at the time. And yet, you? The very first time I was ever really afraid to die was in Bartio. And yet you were... You wanted to... Yeah. And I'd do it again. Do you remember what's going on through your head at the time? Who can help you with Penny? Well, that does, well that's the difference. That, unlike Penny, I'd, I've never expected myself to be indestructible. So in her case, the shock, the shock must have really been too much, much stronger. But yes, I do have the idea of, as to how to help her. But for... But for what to happen, we need to continue w winning. We can't give up. Ever. Sort of it being a tongue tie guy. I don't know what's going on with me right now. It, it wa wasn't in the plans, partner. I'm hoping that this next fight is, you know, pretty simple. Pira, Pira isn't back yet? Nope. Still on a walk. Um... Wonder what's, I wonder what's up with her. I think it's related to the, today's meeting with Headmaster Osborne, if you ask me. Did she mention what it was that they talked about? No details. It seems like he asked her to do something, but she wasn't sure. Ugh, worst timing ever. Does he know we have a tournament to ace here? Um, if she start so caught up in her thoughts by tomorrow, I wouldn't feel comfortable in having her... Take the field, and considering that rules maybe forced us to split partners up. If that comes to pass, it's you and me with Nor, you, you and me, Nora. Ooh, my God, we're going to do that thing where I throw you. Ah, if a push comes to shove, <laughs> it's weird to think a girl who's you know, I don't know how big Nora is compared to like Weiss and. Uh, Ruby, but she's probably only a little bit bigger. Hmm. I'm not sure. I really need to look look at the height differences again. So, what do you think of Vale? The most intricate city of Remnant. A place which, even before the Menagerie incident, strove to life, live up to the memory of soldiers and families who fought the, and fled side by side, despite all differences. A city where our brothers and sisters have the same rights and duties as humans without needing to work thrice as hard for them. Where even lingering set settlements are kept out of sight and out of the law. Hmm. A place which is theoret theoretically the realisation of all of our wishes for our kind. And yet it still feeds from the cow of the, f the fattening our on our suffering. Wait, Ilya? Wait, what in God's name is she wearing? Like, it looks like something you'd see in Tron. Very weird. Most prosperity and achievements of Remnant since the Great War has been built around the growth of the Shini, the Shini Company and Alastidian technology. And the Shini Company, and by proxy Alice itself, is built on the back of our pe backs of our people. Even an ingrated city like this feeds, feeds back into the stat system. Pouring money and power into its personal benefit. All those people, including those of us who made it, do nothing but hold up its stability, which keeps our kind as a whole at the bottom. Do you hate them, Ilya? No. Wanting a comfortable life is nothing inherently evil. It's not their fault that the system they were born in only allows them to do so at the expense of someone else. What I hate is the system. People keeping changing from ha and the people keep changing from happening. Then you understand why I'm working with those humans. Let let them think they're using us. Let them destroy the system for their own goals. The the Fang has its own aims. And when the Inferno dies down, it will be the Fang who will be left standing. 
and will establish a new world order. My only one who's noticed that her clothing is extremely revealing, particularly in the back. I mean, if you look, you'll know what I'm referring to. Like, seriously, that really is a very revealing suit. Adam, not that I mind the subject, but why are we associating this instead of take of your task instead of the task you have for me? Because the task is not mine to give. It's for the humans, and it's a crucial to, to the plan. Hmm. I'm not Scourge. I can stomach unpleasant company. What do... We do what we must do, but not one... When no one else would, for the betterment of all, including other, the other fangs. Indeed. What's she referring to here? Like, is she talking about working with someone from in this group she despises, or is she talking about something entirely different? Day 204. Here we go. What's eating you, Mike partner? Cheating. The possibility thereof, to be more precise. Is it about Cinder's team? Is it safer to keep them further occupied with the tournament activities, or to remove them from the battleground? Should I try and influence the battles in any way? I can trust Port and Oblack. And can I allow my students to fight such dangerous people? I don't think they, they will do anything to warrant an unnecessary attention. After the breach, they know we're on to them. Still, allowing to keep taking part in the festival doesn't sit well with me, and yet I need to because I need to divulge evidence against Leo. <sighs> Is this how Osman felt? Probably, but your goal is protecting people. Osman's main goal is defeating the enemy. It may seem simple, but I believe that that makes all the difference in the world. Let's hope it does. So, are we going to start or not? It's time. People are starting to wonder what's wrong. You're right, Janara. Mind doing the honors with the introduction, then? If I must. Ahem. <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen, the round of 16. Janara, this is not the way to introduce yourself or, or the event. Why is that needed? Everyone already knows who I am and what they're here for. Um, granted, but what are people following us on stream? There may be s some first timers. Mm, right. I'm Jar, and these are Peach and Glenda. We're going to commentate on the fights. Um, in information for sure, but Jara, the, the pathos? Don't you have enough of that for three of us? Ehm, quite. Anyway, well, welcome one and all. Today, uh, the round of 16 start, and with, with that, special rules start applying to, to all engagements. You're right, my partner. It'll be an advantage to take, or will it be for, for obstacles of the, w the way to the finals? Let's see what the rules are at the first matchup. Team Crimson versus Team Coffee. We'll, we'll have to c contend with. So, are we going... So... Are they going to be a problem? Not at all, ma'am. Although, considering that they're top the second years, we might need to be a little bit serious. The rules of the first match is break up, which means that the couple that which means that the couple for each team can't be partners. Looks like it's up to you two then. Pity an emerald, ma'am. Strong opponent or not, don't go overboard. As always, ma'am. No particular application... apparisons. Well, this is not going to turn out well. How... how can you do... be doing this? You're... you're not supposed to be able to communicate unless I seek you out first. What do you mean, affirmative? I don't... Ow, 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 Ugh. I prefer having dislocated shoulder again than this limp. Oh, um, Evelyn, I'm glad you can walk without t two crutches now. Yeah, it really, really hurt. It really didn't hurt that much anymore. Still, 
What a pain in the butt. Anyway, Jack and Kenji are about to fight. Wanna go watch in the big room? I... I don't know. Penny, you need to stop beating yourself up so much. How can I? When they're both forced to take their field again after such a harsh battle because... Because I was too scared? Penny, being scared is completely normal. It's not something you should torture yourself with. But I... I'm supposed to be... Ugh, listen, my, my painkillers. I probably wouldn't be able to conjure up a speech that you need to get out of your funk. But regarding Ken Jack and Kenshi, if you're feeling that guilty and worried about them having to take the field again, the very least you could do is cheer them on, no? You're right. Of course. Even if I can't fight, I I can cheer. Atta girl. I'm proud of you. Ooh. All right. Multiple copies of myself can be hard. Considering his weapons, yes. But trust me, after watching the highlights of, of round of 32, I'm sure. What are you doing here? I'm an athlete. I can come and go from this area as I wish. That's how, what and why. Nothing much, just wanted to wish you luck. I remember and remind you that we had a deal. What does she have here? A bracelet with a charm? Wait, Janara! Peach is selling charms shaped like her. Just how long is it advance did she plan this? I'm surprised myself. Pretty cheap too. For the level of quality anyway. I think I've left you long enough now. We're way past the final exam. Fine. After the fight. Of course. And with that, I wish you good luck. <sighs> she was the last person I wanted to see before the battle. I feel you. I couldn't there be some something nice to look forward to afterwards. Anyway, let's go with plan one last time while we while we get to the arena, alright? So what exactly does divide and conquer rules mean, Glenda? I'm glad you asked, Janara. It's actually pretty simple. The fight usually begins with teams meeting each other in the center. With divide and conquer rules, the teams are broken into couples and escorted to different points of the arena instead. I see, so... Burgundy Mustache and, and Green Glasses are breaking the f are breaking the Funky and Team J duo into two, two duels. J Janara, their names are Professor Oblek and Professor Port. That's such a mouthful to say. And Burgundy Mustache isn't? Hmm, <laughs> you're right. I'll have to workshop that. Bundersash. Burg... Burgundersash. Professor Port! How can you be so different from the mother and yet just as infuriating? Damn, he seems focused. Look at that frown. Well, nice to meet you. I'm Kenji. Oh, I know who you are. I guess the giant screen gives it away, doesn't it? <laughs> Man... I know you're from somewhere else. If you're the transfer student, you must have spent the last months in Beacon. Have we met before in class? No, not really. I know your frame, Kenji. This is not good. The other guy who stole Miss Miss Paladina from her father and, and her destiny in Atlas. What? Come, come again? You don't have any idea, do you? Are we going to argue nicknames the whole day, or are we going to count down? For the love of ten. The hell would you mean, her destiny? You should have met her father, right? Ekero P Paladina, maybe the greatest scientific mind alive. I'm familiar, and... Four. As I said, you have no idea what you've made her give, give up on. What I... What the hell are you talking about? Start. Ugh, you stupid! Youch! I feel sorry for Kenshi taking one of those to the face. 
Ugh, believe me, he was supposed to. He got caught in the conversation, honestly, partner. Yeah, don't think too badly of him. That wouldn't have happened. That wouldn't have happened before yesterday. Yesterday? But I'm yes. You? Are you good? Oh, out of already. That's fine. I I got a win with my mouth only. Well, guys, that's the end of the video. Leave a like, so like, comment, and subscribe. Jeff, and I'm out of here. See ya.